just another quick idea for a gift. As I said, this is part of um, wrapping and gift ideas. Um, I bought this little mini dinosaur bag from TK Maxx. And then obviously I've already hauled these. There's two pairs of Daddy Saurus socks in there. Um, I do like things sort of themed if I can. So that is for our eldest son obviously from his daughter, but I just thought I'd include this in this video. Right, so in this segment, I'm gonna share another um, two gift ideas. And as you probably know, I do collect pieces um, when I'm out and about, charity shop, stores, whatever, especially in the past or after the season to put gifts together, even if it's for the following season, if that makes sense. So um, some of the gifts will actually be using these. This is um, three of the crates. I actually purchased this a while back, 99 pence for the set of three from the charity shop. I've used them in a variety of different ways. Aside to using them sort of stacked like this as extra shelving in my cubby, I've done that before, things like that. Um, so what I'm planning to do is to sort of um, use pieces also how to put gifts together how i wrap them um just to give you some ideas some of these items um if you're sort of getting ahead with your shopping um christmas shopping you can sort of put together or it might give you ideas to put something together yourself um so one of the items is i'm doing one for a gamer it doesn't include a game because some of the games are so expensive but I've got gaming a merchandise um, here to put that together. Another one is a foodie one. Um, so I'm going to do those. So if, if you want to follow along and watch me as I put these gifts together.
this is another part of my um, gift ideas, how I wrap them, how I present them and things like that. I'm doing them so they um, can give you ideas yourselves. You may, as I said, um, have pieces in yourselves or um, with the gifts you've already got, you can sort of put them together. As I said, I try and um, theme them or colour coordinate them or something like that. Or say um, for a family member toiletries that I know that they will use. So I have done a um, gaming one for our youngest son. Um, I did like a, a foodie um, sort of basket and I didn't say about that crate one that you could actually even incorporate maybe um, a couple of cans of drink or a bottle of drink or even um, maybe a DVD, Blu-ray or something like that as well. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same crate as I did before. I've just took the um, food things out and this is some of the things that I've collected especially after say Christmas last year and I did haul these and I got this um, towel this is actually a bath towel it was originally eight pounds it was down to three pounds but I only paid one pound fifty for it but unfortunately it only had the one towel um, so I'm going to show you um, you know sort of how to put this um, basket together as I said um, I've left the tag on there just to sort of um, show um, how it goes um, so this is going to be like um, more for a, I think a female but I just wanted to sort of um, show you how it goes so I wanted sort of the gold bit there of the towel um, to sort of um, show but with this um, if I could have got more of these towels, I would have, but there you are. So that is sort of the um, bath towel in there. Also, I have got um, flannels. I've got a number of these, as you can see. And again, these were reduced from Primark, the same range. These were originally £1.50 down to 50 pence. Um, so... As I said, I'm leaving the tags on at the moment because this set I'm actually keeping for myself. Um, but I just want to give you an idea of, um, you know, how you can do this. I mean, you can take the um, tags off. Um, but I've left those on, as I said, for the time being. Um, but again, I do like that sort of um, goldy effect. So you can put um, those in. Um... I could have made the reindeer flannel to go in this one, but that's going to be in a separate gift. Um, so, so I'm just folding these um, flannels up, you know, so they look, you know, kind of um, pretty. So I'm trying to, I'm leaving the tags on, but I want to sort of disguise them as well. So a couple of flannels. And then I'm um, including in this one, um, you've seen this as well, this is the polar bear um, um, sort of bath mitt. So I thought that would look nice in this one as well. And here I have got the bath foam, this is the Bayless one. And um, it's just got this lovely packaging which is sort of... Um, it's not necessarily Christmas because it's sort of British, but I wanted to include this one. And then to finish it off, I've just got this red bath puff. And I'm just putting that in there as well. Um, I don't think I mentioned that the previous gifts, and besides these, what I would normally do is actually um, put cellophane round, um, depending on the size or how it's sort of um, figurated is whether I actually bunch it up the top and put a big bow on or whether I seal it down so it's actually just like a um, parcel but you can see the contents if that makes sense. So I'm just showing you how this one actually looks. Um, you can add in whatever you want. As I said, um, it's just to 
give you sort of some ideas and if I was actually sort of going to give this totally like this as a gift I think it would look nice with some um, sort of um, white slippers or red and white slippers if you know what I mean or um, you know slip on mules sort of thing like that but um, that's the sort of thing and there we are if you can see that so you've got I uh, say the um, bath towel I've actually ran it um, at the back there you've got the flannels here you can see that bath puff is up there You've got the bath mitt there, Christmassy one, and then the bubble bath in there. I mean, you can add other things to that. Um, candles, as I said, a pair of slippers would be nice in there as well. And make it um, battery operated candles even. And that would make a nice little um, sort of spa bath set like that. And to tell you the truth, that hasn't actually cost a lot of money I think except for the basket the um, box and as I said I had three for 99p so what was say seven um, I would say that cost less than eight pounds to put together and that includes the tissue paper and the ribbon um, probably cost me a lot less because I had a lot of materials already but pricing up the actual items I would say that would have been about um, eight pounds so that's just sort of an idea I mean you can buy boxes and I know um, in say the works they do some lovely little cases um, you know different themes and everything and I don't know if it's is it two lots for ten pounds or something and I think like some of the boxes and the little cases um, I think they're like sets of two or three and then you can get two whole sets for um, ten pounds or that's what it was so I just wanted to sort of show that one like that um, going on to like a male one as I said I haven't planned any of this so I'm not sure what size I'm going to need probably um, might try this smaller one um, this one I'm just going to use some zebra um, paper, tissue paper. So some of these um, you can do anything like this, whether it be for a just a normal gift or for Christmas, if that makes sense. Any sort of thing. So I'm going to put the tissue paper. I'm just going to scrunch that in, and I'm going to put it in the smaller one. I'm going to try the smaller one first to see what this is like because I haven't actually tried this out but this is the sort of one I think I would use um, cellophane on as I would all of them possibly to seal it up but I would do this one so it went up like that and then you tie it up with some um, ribbon or something so first of all I put the tissue paper in like that I did sales video Hi. Hello. No, I'm, oh, yeah, I am recording you can edit that bit out. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So as I was saying, there is the little sort of um, box thing. And this is for a male. So what I'm going to do is, um, I've been getting these, a um, couple of these products uh, for a pound each from um, um, Iceland so I mean you can get the same sort of things I presume I don't know um, from Poundland or wherever when the stores are open or any supermarket and this is Lynx as I said so I'll put that in there I've got the male right guard um, body spray we're going to put that in there and then I haven't lost it yet yeah, there we are I'll just put that down a minute so I can show you what I'm including um, I've got this Energy Men's Body Scrub, and there we are, it's got the bath puff there, and sort of the massager thing there, that's just to bulk this gift out a bit, so that can go in like so, and then, because it's for a male, um, I'm actually includes, including a black um, flannel or face cloth, 
so I'm going to put that down like that because I like to sort of show the edge in a little bit and then roll that up like so and then what I would do is I would use um, a piece of ribbon I would tie that round and make it into a bow and then that will go in there like so And then I would actually put cellophane all around that one. As I said, this doesn't necessarily have to be for Christmas. This could be any time. And as I say, using some of this ribbon, I would actually wrap that in cellophane, cellophane sorry, and use the, sort of the blue or even black or mixture of ribbons to tie up the top. So as I said, some of these gifts, um, I'm not keeping them like this because as i said some of these products i think will be going into actually a christmas stocking rather than the box but i just wanted to share something you could even do something um like this red one like i showed you for the female and you could either incorporate it all in one box and do a here's some hers or even a family one you could actually incorporate um kiddies um bath products you know some of these really nice things you know have a bit of bath fun um over the christmas season um because i know you can get those bath crayon soaps and things like that and even letters depending on the age of the child um incorporate a bath toy even or you can do a his and hers um sort of basket and maybe incorporate depending on who it is it can be um as expensive or as reasonable as you want to make it and put his and her slippers in so it's just sort of a couple of little ideas there so I'm going to put those to the side there another one I thought I'd just use this um, yes I think I would actually use the red paper on this one um, so just bear with me while I just is that the end of it? I don't think I need all that. And just uh, excuse the noise. I just take that off and cut that over. So, and then I could do with all of them. Just scrunch that in. The crate now this is the medium crate i'm using this set as i said i got the set that i probably did previously say as i said this is a different day um previously said i got the set of three for 99 pence um and as i said the best thing about using things like this that they can be used um for a lot of different purposes for storage um for occasions you can even pass it on with another gift if you wish and then in this one I'm enclosing some of this antibacteria soap in there and I thought I would show you and I did actually say about this this was actually four pounds from Asta this is the soap dispenser I just thought this would make a lovely um, sort of um, gift useful gift even but with that Christmas sort of vibe and there you have it like that I mean like I said this one and well, about five pounds because I said I had the crate I had the tissue paper so it was four pounds for the soap dispenser and a pound for the antibacterial soap it's something useful it's Christmassy and there you are it, it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas you could put another um, sort of soap dispenser in there that you can get them really reasonable from the range B&M, Wilco's, any places like that and just put you know um, some soap in there and this one what I would probably do is with the cellophane I wouldn't have it necessarily bunched up although you could if you had it that way I'd probably lay it um, so it's flat and seal it down if you know what I mean I'm just um, say trying to get those um, 
you know, your brain waves going to think, now hang on a minute, it's not much, I haven't bought much for this person, but I want to give a little token gift. It's just thinking a little bit out the box and what, how can I present it? I mean, I am going to show you, try and remember anyway, I've actually um, just finished a whole tub of ice cream, not me personally, family members have, and I've washed the tub up. Most of the stickers have come off, so it's just a white, near enough a white container, and that's the sort of thing that I probably will actually share with you the next time I do gifts, um, that it doesn't have to be something that you purchase, it might be something that you can still use, that you've had in your home, um, so the contents have been used, it can even be a box that you covered, but there you are, and there you have, a say, the soap. Um, I've left it up like that way because it won't lay flat, but like I said, it's just to give you, you know, um, some pointers or some ideas of how you can present your gift. I have got some shredded ready, red paper down downstairs in my craft cubby, so I probably would have put shredded paper in there as well. But that's just like a £5 gift if you've already got, as I say, the container to put it in. If you haven't, you could always put it just in a gift bag, a little bit of tissue paper on top or even um, just wrap it up in some cellophane and put a bow on it. So there you are. So I'm going to leave this video here because um, I've got so many things I want to share on this category. Um, it's just, I so say, we're still in November, but in case you've got a chance to get these pieces, even if it's sort of online or with your shopping, as so some toiletries I do actually buy in with my... Um, my normal shopping if I can get them reasonable and that way you spread the cost and you, a pound here a pound there yeah if you bought it all together it would actually mount up it's like flannels I do have different colors and reds going into you know the Christmas season so I can actually wrap a, a even a flannel with um, just a little bit of a bow and put it with some bubble bath you know or a shower gel something like that you know you can make them you know really really reasonable if you're interested in this and find this useful and want any more of these type of videos please comment below and i will actually put those together as i said at the moment it's um i'm trying to clear um the stuff that's on the floor in the games room um but some of these things like i said this big one here i probably won't necessarily leave it all like that because I have done something like this for myself, you know, as a, a Christmas gift to myself sort of thing. But it's actually storing the stuff at the moment. I've got all on top of my wardrobes, but I have got boxes that I put stuff in. But some of the items will stop as they are. Some I will take out and reuse the um, ideas, you know, the boxes or the containers to give you other ideas. So please comment down below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.